The Senate Ad Hoc Committee has begun the holistic, uh, holistic investigation into alleged unauthorized spending by the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC. Chairman of the committee, Senator Yusuf Yusuf, expressed dissatisfaction with Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Umana Okon Umana, during an interactive investigative hearing on the NDDC for 2021 and 2022 budget estimates. Details in this report. The minister and his team appeared before the other committee at the National Assembly Complex on Thursday in Abuja. While it is utmost desire of this committee that NDDC budget must take care of the general interests of the people of the region, as they are seriously craving for development and empowerment. In view of this, we require an overview of NDDC 2021-2022 budget estimates from the Honorable Minister of Niger Delta Affairs. While making his clarification on alleged reckless spending, Okon Umana explained that the reason for the delays in submitting its budget and audited accounts to the National Assembly was due to some factors. When I came and discovered they had no, because they briefed me when I came as my parasata, and I said, where is your budget for 2021? They said they had submitted it's with the presidency. And at that time, they were working to conclude to conclude the 2022 draft. And within two weeks, they said that draft was also ready. So I then forwarded the 2022 for our transmission to the National Assembly and then did a reminder. Scrutinizing the ministry, some of the committee members said it was a breach of the constitution for the NDDC to carry out expenditure of the budget estimates without approval of the National Assembly. If there were no budgets for 2021, by the constitution and extant rules, are we not right, this committee and the public, not right to expect that the expenditures for 2021 and 2022 should not, therefore, exceed the threshold as per the previous year. Is that not the correct position? I would like to know, when I at the time you joined as a minister, I, because even before the minister, you were the MD, I the time you joined as the minister by July 2022. Does it mean that they never came to you, the ministry, for any approval? Does it mean that you never asked about the uh, passage of 2021 Responding to the Committee on the Financial Records of the Expenditures of the Commission, the Minister said that it was not in his capacity to know if the NDGC was exceeding its budget, but was in the capacity of the Account Officer of the Commission to know so. Uh, I'm sorry to go back to this issue of Accounting Officer. I have also taken my time to read the procurement act. And the responsibility, that is why a minister cannot give directives on, on the financial administration of a prastata. No minister can do that because he doesn't have such powers. He's not the accounting officer. In his concluding remarks, the committee chairman said while the committee would cooperate with the commission to actualize its mandate, the lawmakers won't hesitate to stand against abnormalities. The Senate had earlier stood down consideration of the NDDC 2023 budget and requested further information and clarifications on the financial activities of the NDDC for 2021 and 2022 budget estimates before it was later passed. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.